Today, I'm gonna to be testing as many of football's biggest myths as I can to see if they're actually true or not. A lot of which are used by your favorite players, including Ronaldo, Neymar, and more. This is gonna be interesting, so let's get into the first one. Okay, so myth one, expensive boots make you play better. These are around 40 pounds. Myth one. Next. Okay, so up next, hitting the ball under the valve makes it go higher. This technique is used by a lot of professional goalkeepers when taking their goal kicks. So let's test it out. Okay, first I'm just going to hit it normally. And now, under the valve. Okay, so I'm not sure what the result of that myth is, but you guys will have seen on screen. Certain penalties have a higher success rate. So many players such as Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Pogba love this technique and recently players like Jorginho have been creating a lot of noise for the modern jumping stutter technique as well. So I'm going to take three stuttered penalties, three normal penalties and we're going to compare the results. There's one. You don't say these. Three out of three for the normal, now let's try the stutters. I didn't see any differences with those penalties. Obviously, it's based on the player, but for me, myth busted. Right, now, before we move on to the next myth, it's time for a drink break. Now, Aerop approached me about their new and unique water bottle concept, and I thought it fitted in perfectly to this video, as it's perfect for your football sessions. So apparently, this bottle makes plain water taste flavored through these scented pods. When you sip the water, you also inhale the scent of these pods at the same time, making it taste flavored. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cherry flavor on right now and then you pull it up to activate. So let's give it a go. Yeah, this myth is confirmed too. That is genius. This bottle is perfect for when you're playing football or any other sports. I've been loving using it for my filming sessions recently, especially now it's summer. I always struggle to drink enough water as a lot of the time it just feels like a chore, but this bottle makes me drink a lot more and it's perfectly healthy as well. It's literally simply plain water that just tastes nice. No sugars, sweeteners or anything like that. So yeah, you can get yours with over 25 flavors to choose from by clicking the link in the description of this video. Anyway, back on with the video. Okay, so this next one is another one that's gone viral on the internet and it's famously used by Cristiano Ronaldo. Apparently putting your new boots in hot water expands them and breaks them in, making them more comfortable to wear. So we're gonna put them in here, hold them down with weights so they stay under the water and we're gonna come back in five minutes. Five minutes later. Oh, well, these are soaking. <laughs> when you try this one at home, you might wanna dry them first, but I've got other myths to bust, so it needs to be quick. Okay, so boots on. This might be placebo effect, but they definitely feel softer. When I was wearing them yesterday, they felt a bit stiff. So myth confirmed, you can try this at home with a kettle or in the bath, but disclaimer, don't try it for too long because it'll probably wreck your boots. On to next. Right, these boots are actually that comfortable. I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the video. But now it's time for the Jabulani. You guys will have seen this myth that it makes your shots knuckleball like crazy. So let's do a montage. Oh. This ball just doesn't spin when you kick it, so myth confirmed, this ball is overpowered. Okay, so another myth in the goalkeeping world is that putting Vaseline on your gloves gives them more grip. Uh, I don't know how much you're meant to put on, <laughs> but we're just gonna see what happens. That should be enough. So actually, myth confirmed, these definitely give them more stick and grip. You do get left with a bit of Vaseline on the ball though. <laughs> Mate, I've got Vaseline all on me now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how legal this would be in a game. And also, the stick's already kind of wearing off the gloves, so I also don't think it would be very effective in game. So after going home and researching this, I found that the laws of football state that any tacky substances on the hands or sticky gloves are indeed illegal. It's classed as unsporting behavior and a caution should be given. So the conclusion is that they do make your gloves more grippy, but this isn't legal in a game. Okay, now whilst we've got the Vaseline, I'm gonna try another myth. Apparently, if you put Vaseline on your Achilles heel, it can stop blisters from your football boots. Right, I brought these boots along. I never wear these because they usually always give me blisters. You can see how tight they are. So Vaseline on and I'm going to play with them now for around five minutes or so because that's when I usually start to get the blisters. So let's see what happens. So 
So I've been using these for over five minutes now and this is where they usually start to hurt and I've had no signs of rubbing. So this myth is confirmed. So if you're a goalie or you get blisters with your boots, definitely get yourself some Vaseline. Per Mertens Hackett is extremely slow. At one point, he was the slowest player on FIFA with 27 pace. His top speed from the edge of the box to the goal line is 3.2 seconds. So let's see how I compare and if he's really as slow as people say he is. Oh. Oh. Okay, what was that? All right, 2.95, so confirmed. I am faster than Per Mertesacker, so I suppose that's myth confirmed. Right, now this next one is probably the huh? weirdest of the video. Apparently, Coke cleans your dirty boots better than water. This has gone viral on TikTok, and I feel like it's just someone making it up for views, but apparently the chemicals in the Coke get deeper into the dirt, so I guess there's one way to find out. Okay, so I've just spent 30 seconds just wiping over the boot with water. So now let's compare it to the Coke. Right, time for the Coke. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> right, so I've cleaned this boot for 30 seconds with the water and this boot for 30 seconds with the Coke and there's absolutely no difference. So myth busted. And if anything, it'll probably just end up staying in your boot. So don't try this one at home. Okay, so I used to be told by my coaches that when you're winning, you should never do skills to showboat and mock your opponent because it can be a foul to the opposition. This myth is actually true or went viral when Neymar tried to rainbow flick the defender and got booked. But I suppose it does depend on the ref. Okay, so another thing I used to hear my coaches always say is to not sit on the ball because it will make it shaped like an egg. So I'm going to sit on this for around five minutes and we'll see if this is really true or not. Great. You've really an experiment. But it's been about five minutes now and I can see no difference to the ball. So myth busted. Another myth I was told growing up by PE teachers was that putting your hands on your knees is an ineffective way of trying to recover when you're out of breath. And instead you should put your hands on your head. I did a bit of research on this and scientific research carried out found that the hands on knees technique is far better at recovering your resting heart rate back down to regular levels. So another myth busted and this is why we still see all the top footballers using this technique regardless of what you might have heard otherwise. So as a footballer, don't be afraid of using this technique to catch your breath. On to the next. Now, grip socks have become extremely popular over recent years, but a lot of pros wear them in actual matches, and they supposedly make your turns faster, such as Luis Suarez and Deli Ali even wore them in the World Cup. So I've set up an agility test where we're gonna compare the speed of the grip socks compared to just normal socks. Let's do it. Three, two, four. Okay, I don't know the speed of that, but the time for the normal socks will be on screen now. All right, grip socks on, let's test them out. Ah. Okay, so results on screen now. Right, now this next myth was used by the England players in the latest World Cup, and it's that cutting holes in your football socks relieves tension in the calves. So, let's give it a go. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's get them on, see how they feel. <laughs> okay, there we go. This feels really weird. I think I've done a few too big on the back of this one as well. But yeah, to be fair, I actually do get this one because obviously a lot of times football socks can be so tight, they do definitely feel quite looser and lighter. So I think myth confirmed. Oh, it's like a fashion show this. Let me change the boots. Right, so this next one is that boots too small for you give you a better first touch and feel for the ball. So these, as you can see, nightmare to get on. <laughs> Brought these boots out from a few years ago because these are just way too small for me. This is another one supposedly used by Ronaldo, but I don't think he does it anymore. So there could be a fault with this one. Okay, general thoughts. I don't really feel much difference. They're just a bit more uncomfortable, but let's do a touch test. So three touches with these boots that are too small, three touches with some normal boots, and let's see how they compare. Ah, oh. oh, no. All right, no real difference, another myth busted. Right, that's enough myth busting for today. A lot will confirm to be fair, and there's some good ideas for you guys to try at home. Leave a comment for which one you thought was the most interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.